So on today's tutorial, we're going to be downloading and installing the new OS OS update. All right. So that's 10.13.2 plus iTunes comes with that update as well. So we're not even going to go into this website. I just wanted to show you the guys that you do have that option. So if you go to this URL in apple.com, you guys will see this update. However, on your Mac, what you guys want to do is just click up here on your Apple logo. Okay. So that's on top left hand side. And then what you guys want to do is your third option where it says app store. So just click right there. This will open up. Now, if this doesn't open up right away, you guys may see future top charts, categories, purchased, and then updates from updates. Just click on update all, and that's going to update everything that's in the list. You guys might have a few more things depending on what programs you guys have. Now, before you guys make any updates, just be aware that, um, as you know, with high Sierra, there's a few apps that are still not compatible. So any updates that you guys do right now, it's just going to make it's not going to fix those apps. That's what I want to say. So it's not going to make them better. It's not going to fix those apps. These are just updates for your Mac. Okay. So we're just going to click on update all and this will restart computer. So how long will this take? No more than an hour. Usually this will not take more than 15 minutes. Like I said, this is only what? Uh, 1.87 gigs. So it's not big at all. Um, so you guys could just update your iTunes first and then your Mac because this is the part where it's going to restart everything. All right. So we're, when you could do the security update, however, when you do the iTunes update, it's not going to have to restart your whole Mac and you do not have to update your Mac in order to update your iTunes. You guys can just update your iTunes to the latest iTunes without updating to 10.13.2. So don't worry about that update if you guys don't want to do it. Uh, fully understand if you most we don't want to do this however if you are already in mac os high sierra might as well get this over with um if you guys haven't updated to high sierra don't worry about it again um however itunes yeah you guys can just go ahead and update that again it will not take too long anyways that's how you guys update this after it's updated it's supposed to just work perfect there shouldn't be any issues if you guys are stuck somewhere just message me here below in the comments area and uh, if you guys have any comments questions you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you